it's more Rocket League. I'll grab a drink again real quick. Just make sure my throat's good to go. There we go. <clears throat> Getting ready to go against the Bombers, which is the bottom of the standings right now. So this should be pretty easy to beat, I believe. Yeah, this should be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and start it up. <clears throat> Last episode I was rambling about YouTubers and stuff, so I think this is episode I'm probably gonna talk about the future and what I see my plans are gonna be in the future. I think my main goal in the future is definitely get a better PC because I would love, 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 love to play CSGO, but my computer cannot run it because it's so old. Like the graphics card, it doesn't even have a graphics card, say a video card. It's so outdated, it's just like laughable how outdated, how outdated it is. Like, it's so outdated that in Hearthstone, I can't see, um, I can't see golden card animations. That's how bad it is. I just really need a new one. I was really cheap whenever it came to buying my computer, and I didn't really, like, buy parts. I just wanted a computer right then and now, and I should have just saved my money and just bought a decent one, but I was like, oh, I just want one now so I can play League and Hearthstone and all this stuff, and I was just like, yeah, I just want it now, so I didn't invest the money into a decent one, so then I got punished for it, and now I can't play CSGO, League run, gets like 40 frames if I'm lucky, and Hearthstone usually is pretty sluggish, okay, that's a score by then, just, it, in general, is just really bad. I would love to get a new PC and just be able to, you know, be able to play a game and be like, oh yeah, I could run it fine. Get 60 frames and not have to worry about it. I just feel like frame rate is such a big factor in my league play. Because not having good frames, maybe. so it's really hard in team fights to track where you're at. Because like, you really can't see where I'm at half the time because it's be skipping frames and stuff like that. Dropping to like 10 frames and stuff like that. So it would be amazing just to be able to, uh be able to have a good frame rate, constant good frame rate, and not have to worry that frame rate's going to be a factor in my league play. Because I feel like it is. I feel like I'd be so much a much better player without the low frame rate. I feel like I have a lot of potential in league, but I just can't do it because the restrictions. I know I'm in the silver division, and that's not the greatest position to be in, but I feel like I would probably could be in high silver if I was had a better PC, because I feel like I'd be more confident in my games. But it's alright though. I'll just have to deal with it until I get a job or something. Shit, maybe I'll get enough money from this to be able to buy a new one, but that's probably not going to happen anytime soon because it's already hard enough to get started in this industry because everyone wants to do it. So you have to be your own person and like, show off who you are as a person and hope people actually choose you over everyone else, which is like impossible, but some people can manage doing it. And I'm hoping I will be that one of the lucky per people I get to pull it off and be the lottery winner, basically. Lottery winner. Can't talk. It's very awkward. I don't think people understand, like, people have, that haven't done YouTube, it's very awkward to talk to yourself a lot because you feel like you're just insane because you just sit there talking about nothing to nobody that's listening except for maybe viewers that tune in. But by itself, it just seems like you're an insane person. Just trying to like get yourself together or something. I should probably shouldn't have hit that Hollywood probably could have scored that. But other than that, okay I'm gonna try to block that. Okay, that was not good because I ran up the wall. But other than that, yeah, YouTubing is basically hard because you basically have to have the passion to do it and have the commitment to be able to say, I'm gonna edit this video, I'm gonna upload it now, I'm not gonna I'm gonna make sure I edit this video now and don't do it, forget about it and then being able to be consistent about that is just very hard because you want to do something else and then you have to think about oh I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this and then it just piles up and you just feel like oh, I don't think it's worth it but you have to be that person that says I think it is worth it and you just want to do it so that's what I'm doing before I did YouTube yeah like off and on you know upload a video maybe once every couple months and just or like a series of videos a couple months you will do like five videos in like a week and then like never upload for like five four months and then do it again 
I used to do that a lot, but I feel like if I actually make the commitment to say, hey, I'm gonna actually try this and see where it goes and see if I can actually try to make a career out of this, and that's like gonna be amazing if I can. That's like one of my goals in life. That's basically the dream job that everyone wants, but I wanna actually put the work in for it. So I'm gonna put my heart out, like I said, in every video and try to make sure I get an audience that actually enjoys what they do. Even if I don't get money out of it, it's just nice to know that I'm entertaining people and just be able to say, hey, my videos make people happy, my videos make people laugh, you know, just to make people enjoy themselves every day. Cause I know there's a lot of people out there that have like depression and stuff like that and go through really tough times with parents. And all they look forward to is to watch their favorite YouTuber on YouTube, just like to brighten up their day. And I want to be that person that does that, that brightens people's days up. A lot of people just want to do YouTube for the money. That's basically what it is. So they look at Syndicate, they look at the creatures, and they think, dang, these guys make lots of money because of what they do, so I want that money. But they don't see the actual value in doing this. I'm pretty sure there's some YouTubers out there that do, and that don't get noticed, which is sad because I think everyone should have a chance at this, because this is a really insane job, I guess you could say. And basically anyone can do it, it just depends who the right people are. It's all about the viewers, that's what YouTubers rely on, is viewers. Without viewers, YouTubers are nothing, they're just other people. In general, they're just people, that's all they are. Like, people make it seem like they're celebrities, but they're just people. It's just interesting to see, like, how no one would be as famous as they are without viewers. Just take a look at PewDiePie. PewDiePie has, what, 20-something million people that watch him every day? Well, not every day, but like 20 million subscribers. And if it wasn't for them, like, he would be nothing. He would just be some random Swedish person that no one knows about. But because he has so many people that watch him and, like, like what he does he's such a big celebrity i did like the little finger thing to say that he's a celebrity because he's not really a celebrity he's just a person this does videos it's not like he's on tv or something and he's like famous in general but if it wasn't for the people he wouldn't be as famous as he is without viewers like youtube is nothing that's basically how it is if everyone decided to stop youtube then a lot of people would have no jobs. And they would have to rely on getting, you know, casual, like, Target, Walmart jobs, or Taco Bell jobs, and that wouldn't be what people want to do. For example, Markiplier, I, feel, I respect him a lot as a person because he respects his, and, like, appreciates his fans, like, a lot. A lot of people don't like that he does that, like, he really appreciates them as much as he does. But I, I really appreciate that he does that. Because then you get an emotional connection to that person, and it's not just about, oh, these guys make YouTube. These guys are just people that want money, and they just do it for the money. But you can tell sincerely that they really enjoy what they do, and they like seeing people smile. As in his, like, was it 6 million video subscriber video? That he showed off, like, those, the video that all those people made of them saying words, like saying, thank you, Markiplier, and all that stuff. That was really nice for people to do that, and we won this game, which is awesome. Okay, enough rambling. I really hope whoever watches this likes rambling, because I do it a lot. This off-topic stuff that doesn't even pertain to the game, but... Oh well, we won this game 7-6. Very close game, going in overtime. And we got it done, so... I'll see you guys in, uh... Next episode, when we go up against the Express, which is a team that we lost to, I think. Or did we beat them? And we lost to Express. Okay, so we gotta beat Express this time. So I'll see you guys.